Hey guys, welcome. We just bought a brand new 2019 Tundra TRD Pro in Voodoo Blue. Uh, it is my very first truck. Um, so, we got here via looking at quite a few different trucks uh, over the past um, five months, six months? A few months. Originally, I wanted to buy a used truck. Uh, I looked, and the truth be told, I mean, I spent probably about a year looking on and off um, to uh, to get a used one because they're just so much cheaper. And, and unlike cars, um, trucks cost so much more money it, um, for a used one of comparable, like two or three years old. Um, so we decided to buy a brand new one. We went out uh, to Chevy first, and um, we had it down for a uh, 2018 Duramax, Duramax um, High Country. Um, then we quickly changed our mind to the um, Denali. GMC Denali um, Duramax as well. It was funny, you know. We uh, when we uh, I went in. Okay, so I said. The truck was 73,000, 74,000. It's insane, crazy money. I can't even believe trucks cost this much. But um, so we go in and uh, I said, hey, anything under $67,000, uh, tax title license out the door, I'll buy it. Crazy money. I mean, not that this is any cheaper, but so the guy goes, he comes back with this piece of paper. He can't make this stuff up. $66,599.99. So immediately I picked up on that. I'm like, 666, you know. I told him, this is what I told him. I'm not buying Beelzebub's truck. And dude, you gotta change the number. So he goes, 10 minutes later, he comes back. No, I'm good. I'm good. He's like, no, this is this is it. Yeah, yeah we're good. The, this, uh, not even a dollar. Not even a dollar off. I told him, just change it. I don't get it. 67,000 was my max. So, and oh, and then while he was gone, I'm looking at it. We're in a cubicle there at the, uh, um, the GMC, GMC the dealership. And I look at it, I see a hat, you know, and the hat has on it 666 as well. So, well, no, it had four sixes. No, three six. Three six or four. Anyways, so I'm looking at the hat with it had red 666 on it. So I'm like, you know, and he comes back, he's like, no. This is it, 66,600 bucks, 666. So I'm like, okay, I'll walk it. And I said, and then he goes up. Oh, so what'd you have me change it, 67,000? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> exactly, if it had been 67. So anyway, so we walked out the door, that was the end of that. And then he came up with the idea, hey man, uh, Toyota. Uh, has some pretty cool trucks. Has Go some pretty cool look. trucks. Go take a look at them. So we sure enough found out that Toyota has, they're coming out with a limited run of the uh of the uh 2019 trd pro trd pros and the color was voodoo blue so uh we went out and ordered it uh, and it took i don't know two months two three months, months three months four months whatever it took pretty to get fast it. though I mean, so in the meantime we're like okay so we're waiting for the truck you know because i'm not very patient and neither is he <laughs> we're not very patient. so we went and looked at the um at the ford raptors uh we found a beautiful red one. They're all red. All of them. All of them red. And I found a really beautiful one. And you know, I couldn't, just by talking to people and all the problems that it's just Ford, you know, fix off and, <coughs> fix off and repair daily or found on roadside dead. <laughs> roadside dead. So F-O-R, found on, whatever. Uh, so, truck came I was like I wasn't very excited about picking up a Toyota Tundra I was like uh, so <laughs> we went we showed up at the dealership they, ah, I finally came in and I was like Ugh, okay we're gonna go in and just tell them we're not buying it uh, and uh, immediately he's like ah, this is our truck we're a pretty buying blue. It. pretty blue pretty blue I was like uh, at first I wasn't very excited you know voodoo blue uh, but you know what? It actually grown on me. It's it's the seeing it, every seeing day. it uh, every day um, out in the sun and different lighting. It is actually one of the most beautiful blues out there. It really is. Um, That's why all the companies are trying to take it, like Mustang in there. Yeah, all the companies blue. now come up with voodoo blue. It's it's 
it looks a lot better in real life uh, than it looks in pictures. You can't you can't put it to pictures for whatever reason. It it, it looks different. It looks different. More looks like a dark blue. Yeah, it looks like a dark blue. It doesn't quite. It looks faded. And it, but in real life, it, it, it glistens in a way that I'm really happy that Toyota came with it. I mean, or, or came out with this uh, particular color. It looked, I like it. it it's, it's extremely beautiful. So, what is this? So, this video, the series of videos that we plan on doing to this truck is modding it. Um, we don't know if it's going to be this year, um, but we're going to try for this. Or next year coming. Or next year. Um, I'm Seven. a pilot for, for a major airline and travel. So we thought of taking this truck and turning it into an overland vehicle. I don't know if we're going to go to ex the extremes that some of the people do. Uh, definitely looking at a tent and there's just some of the other um, add-ons yeah. that we're going to do with it. And this is what this series of videos is going to be. The stuff that we add to the truck and then uh, we're going to take it on adventures. Uh, we want to take it all the way to uh, Alaska. Dead Horse, Alaska. Prudhoe Bay. Because uh, like why not? So um, and then from there, I don't know where, but um, yeah, this this is what these series of videos are going to be. Um, we over the upcoming videos, we're going to add things to it. Um, tires, I don't know. Um, right now, I'm looking at okay. Costco just has it's just so simple. You go to shop there, and they rotate the tires. You don't have to go to a special shop, and so the only tires that they're willing to put on. I only do three percent over stock. Three percent over stock. Mm -hmm. Three inches. Oh, three centimeters. Three, whatever. Yeah, whatever the, the guy told me. So, uh, looking at the BF Goodrich 285, 65, 18s, um, and I've seen some trucks with that that, mm -hmm. that Toyota has. It looks it looks really good. Uh, I don't want to add any more lift to it. I think when we put those tires on, it would actually increase the um, the height by the like height by like an inch. So. The truck's already like an inch and a half, two inches tall, taller than a, a stock. Uh, it's two inches taller than a stock Tundra. Stock Tundra. So, um, I don't know. Uh, tent in the back, I don't know. We're going to put a rack on it and see. In. Um, we're going to go through. We already, we're already installed. We're going to do a video here soon. On uh, We already put on a, 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 a tonneau cover and why we chose that. Uh, we're going to add some other things like, I don't know why. What, what's what's up with Toyota? Why did they not include what do you call this thing? The grab uh, handle. The handle. The handle on the on the. Well, why? The, grab onto the steering wheel, but that doesn't really. That work. doesn't work. So why would they not include that? Why did they not? What's up with the with the sonars? Uh, the, the beeper. So I kind of looked into that. I got to look some more into that. The plugs are there, but the wiring harness is not, uh, the the wiring harness is lacking. Yes, yeah, not there. It's there, but the wires aren't there, so I gotta find, I gotta fish through and see if I can actually add them. I wanna add OEM. I know you can add the El Cheapo, you know, 60 bucks, 70 bucks, but it's, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. They do work, but it's aftermarket. It's like anything else aftermarket. It looks like cheese and it usually ends up failing on you. Um, what else? It's a beautiful day in Texas. It's it's. Uh, I was just up in the north, uh, up in the north, and you guys are getting hammered with snow and ice, and uh, everything nice. I can uh, wear a t-shirt. Yeah, today is a beautiful summer day. What's the temperature outside? 63 degrees and not a cloud in the sky. You can see for miles. Miles. Last night I came in super late because of the bad weather here in the DFW airport, and literally there were thousands of people in the uh, in the airport, and you guys were yeah sucking it. It didn't it didn't look like fun. But uh, anyway, so that's that. That's a series of videos that we're going to do on this truck and uh, taking this channel um, and seeing what we can do with it, what, uh, what uh, um, stuff that we can add, not necessarily on this truck, but other stuff like that, um, content um, related to the truck, related yeah. to off-roading, uh, and seeing what, what, what trouble we can get ourselves into. Uh, guys, welcome. Uh, like, subscribe don't like don't subscribe thumbs up thumbs down uh, let us know what you think let us know what you want to see it's not necessarily us I mean what you know whatever yeah. you want to put a 10 inch lift on this truck uh, you know it won't fit in the garage lift. anymore <laughs> and it uh, 10 inch lift on. 10 inch lift I don't know yeah I make it higher than anybody else um, you know I don't know uh, we really don't know what, what all we <laughs> 
we uh, we need uh, for it. But uh, you know, just by driving it around, it's. Um, Beautiful. You know, I never thought that I would enjoy that. At first, I was like, ah, man, be you annoying, know. Be annoying, that stupid. Be annoying, that. The dual, the dual exhaust. The dual exhaust, but it, it it's it's incredibly quiet enough to where it, when you're cruising down the highway. And you can't hear it. Like, you can't, can't hear it. You can't hear it. But when you when you put the hammer down, it, B, B8, there's no substitute for displacement, isn't it? <laughs> that just sounds so nice. Uh, Toyota did a did a did a did a bang up job on the uh, on the exhaust, um, and the truck is just you know I, it's kind of a it's big. I mean, so normally I drive a, a 2012 uh, Bolt. Uh, right now I am averaging. 300 miles, 200 and some 300 miles per gallon. Uh, the lifetime of the car is like 200 miles per gallon, which is insane. This thing gets 11, 11. I don't, uh, tank average right now, I'm, I'm at 11, 11.5. And Chevy came out with their new um, Silverado. They put dual exhaust in that, but it sounds like your your grandma's Kia Sentra. It doesn't really. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and. V6, man. And the, and the uh, the Ford with their six-cylinder engine. Their V6, uh, man. Yeah. A little bit more horsepower than the VTEC. Anyways, guys. Yeah. Peace. We'll see you guys on the next video. Woo! <laughs>